Hello Achievers! It's nice to see you again. This is Teacher Marlene and today we are going to talk about the colorful stories of our past. The Philippines is rich with stories about its art and culture. Such stories can be attributed to early forms of art such as jars, pots, and even houses of early Filipinos. These are cultural treasures that serve as important evidences of the way life of the Filipinos long before foreign colonizers came to Philippine shores. Now, we will learn about the rich cultural heritage of the Filipinos. And we will learn also how Filipino culture was influenced by other cultures. Old things at home are treasured not just because of their price or monetary value, but because of the stories behind them. Some objects have sentimental value. That's why we don't want to lose it. We want to keep it. Or we want to take good care of it as much as possible. For example, your parents or your mother gave you a necklace on your 10th birthday and you value it. You don't want to lose it, that necklace, because it is a family heirloom or pamana that was once owned by your great-grandmother or grandfather. Now, Others' objects also have historical value. An example of this are objects once owned by our first president, Emilio Aguinaldo. These are the things that are treasured and highly valued. Now look around your house. What are the things do you own that have sentimental value? Or what stories do they tell about the past? Let's talk about jars and pots of our history. One of the earliest forms of art is pottery. Pottery combines design and functions why they make pots and jars people make pots and jars for household and ritual purposes now let us first talk about the manongol jar in the philippines the manongol jar show evidence of the early Filipinos high artistic level. Do you want to know more about it? The Manongol jar is a secondary boreal jar characterized by incised geometric patterns of lines and dots around it. It has a cover which features two men rowing a boat. This figure suggests the belief of early Filipinos in an afterlife reached only after crossing a mythical body of water. Pottery became more functional in the later years. Some examples are the palayok used for cooking and the banga and the tapayan it is used for 
storing liquids. In some provinces in northern Philippines such as Ilocos, Burnay pottery is a living tradition. Burnay is an earthenware jar made by hand with the aid of a potter's wheel. Fidel Go, whose ancestors from mainland China settled in Vigan and introduced the Burnay technology in the town around 1890, carries on the tradition and funds the biggest Burnay factory in Ilocos. Together with his son Bongbong, they continue to produce jars by hand. While the palayok is made of red clay, the burnai is made of black earth and fired in the traditional method. The burnai serves as container of water, salt, salted fish, vinegar, and wine. Now, how would you draw a picture of pots and jars? Let me show you a picture. These drawings were done using the cross-hatching technique. The cross-hatching technique consists of slanting, vertical, and horizontal lines intersecting one another to create or to give dimension to a drawing now i want you to get a sheet of paper or a clear paper or bond paper and practice doing a cross hatching technique like this Now your turn. Do you get it right? Good job. Continue to do a cross hatching technique. Practice it more until you master it. Okay? So that's all for today. I hope you are learning. Bye and see you next time!